Hi, I'm Jonathan J. Reinhardt from Wargaming Recon, and today we are continuing our series about painting Dwarven Forge and how it can help you with your mental health. So we're actually going to go right here and dive in, and we're going to do some painting of accent stones. So you can see right here, we use some Picorni paints, and it's $49 unpainted to pick up this set that we're working on. It's a classic dungeon variety pack. And just picking out some accent stones right here. It's a little messy, but that's okay. You don't have to be exact, but just go and have fun. Pick out as many or as few as you want. I would say don't overdo it. Make sure you go all over the piece to get the ones that you want. And right here, you can see that we've done all of these walls, that they are all have the accent stones done. But what they don't have is they're not dry brushed. So we're gonna do that in a moment, but wanna give you a nice closer look here at just how good these look just with accent stones painted. Really simple, very easy to use. We used a Picorni brush for this. Nice, good natural fibers on that brush to go ahead and get this going. And then for the dry brush, which we're gonna do right here, we're gonna actually mix these two paints, Picorni paints, cabin dry brush, and school bus in a three to one ratio. And this is what will closely match the factory paint. So you can see right here, actually counting out the number of drops. And you might want to do this multiple times to get it to work out. So I believe I'm putting in nine drops here. And then I'll do three drops of the school bus. And I would say just be mindful about when you do it. It's okay to have some variation, but that's all right. And if you want, you can use the bottom of your brush to really mix it together. I like using these wet pal um, these palettes here. You could use a wet palette as well, but these palettes are nice to just go ahead and mix them up. And you wanna make sure you thoroughly mix it so that you have a uniform color. You can look at the bottom of your brush to see what it's like. Then dip in your Picorni Paints dry brush and get some on the brush. And then you wanna get a paper towel and wipe most of it off. And just kind of go right at it and one of the nice things about this is it removes a lot of excess but it helps to work that paint into the bristles so that when you dry brush you get a nice uniform look to it and here you can see we're dry brushing some of the floors and just the big difference it makes right here on doing that you want to make sure you get all sides of it top all the edges and you can see how it compares to the unpainted one and just how nice they look right here with that. So you wanna go ahead and do this to all your pieces. So although we already did accent stones, you wanna go ahead and go over it and do some dry brushing on it all. And it really makes it pop. I would say do a light dry brush and you can do multiple coats if you need to, but you don't wanna overdo it. And the reason is it'll lose some of the details that way. It'll just make it look too uniform. And dungeons aren't uniform, right? So you wanna just kinda of go and add some character. Do the top, the sides, the back. Make sure you get those stones on the flooring. And again, the sides of the stones and all of the back. And it really transforms a piece. And it's so therapeutic to do. So if I can do this, anyone can do this. You can do it. And I bet you can do it even better than I can. But it's not a race, it's not a competition. We're just kinda of speeding through the painting here because I painted <laughs> all of those wall segments uh, for this video and just kind of went ahead and, <laughs> and did all of this so you can see how it is and even though it's sped up a little bit on the video it still gives you an idea about how long it takes to do this it does not take very long to go ahead and apply the dry brush for me the longest amount of time was actually doing the accent stones and that's just because I picked out a lot of accent stones as you can see I'm pointing there but you don't have to pick out as many as I did do what makes you happy so over here, you can see this is what it looks like when finished. And we did some floors and some curved pieces. So this is what it is. Make sure you pick it up at dwarvenforge.com.